Finding the derivative using the limit definition. You must use the formula, which is the slope. The limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. Remember when you're doing this, you're going to have to keep the limit thing along until you do that. If f of x is this, 4 plus 6x minus 2x squared, I need to find f of x plus delta x. And the way that works, you plug it into the f of x, wherever you see x, is x plus delta x. Now I got to plug these two things into the formula up above. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this stuff all out. I got a 4, a 6x, and a 6 delta x. When I square x squared plus 2x delta x, plus delta x squared, I'm going to multiply them by my negative 2. That whole thing right there is just f of x plus delta x. Then I got to subtract off f of x. And don't forget our little friend delta x. That's the end bottom. And if you remember, the thing that really happens is if you do everything right, all of the f of x stuff is going to get canceled. It's going to subtract off, and what you have left. Everybody should have a delta x in common, and you should be able to get rid of a delta x. So let's see what we got. This is subtraction, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract that, and then make that positive. That makes my life a little easier. Because if I look over there, 2x squared and negative 2x squared. Gone. Gone. Negative 6x, positive 6x. Negative 4, positive 4. And what do I have left? 6 delta x's, 4x delta x, and 2 delta x squared all over delta x. And if you see, everybody on top's got a delta x in common. So I can get rid of that delta x, that delta x, that delta x, and that delta x. I got rid of my problem child. So now I can plug in my zero for delta x. And I'm left with the answer of 6 minus 4x. Is that what it, is that what it should be? Yes. Yep, because we know how to do that using the shortcuts now. 6 minus 4x. 6 minus 4x. What you see here is what I want to see. I don't care about the answer. I care about the process.